Hello, my name's Karina Thompson and welcome to the next instalment in our series about configure in the MySonet embroidery software. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about the thread database and how you can add specific threads to it. You might find it useful to watch the earlier film where I introduce thread cache just so that you understand how we've reached this stage. In this episode, I'm on a PC with the platinum level of software installed, but everything I show you today, you'll be able to do on a Mac and in any of the tiers of software. So you might remember from the earlier video, I'd added some of my favorite thread ranges into my database of thread ranges. I'm now on the thread database tab and I'm going to go down to uh, the pull down arrow here in this case, I'm going to choose the Madeira Rayon 40, and that will open up essentially the shade card of Madeira Rayon 40 here. And if I scroll down, you can see um, uh, literally the hundreds of colors. Now, if for some reason you actually perhaps just want to add one or two threads from another thread range, so what you could actually do is click the radio button here for show all thread ranges and then on the pull down arrow you will have all the thread ranges that you want. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to add some threads to my database from the Madeira Rayon 40 uh, shade card. Now if I know the shade card number I can just uh, type it directly in here and that will be brought up directly for me. So, for example, I'm going to type it in 1061 and that brings up this sort of pale sandy colour, but it might be you don't know the shade card number. So a, a quick way of doing it is to identify a colour on the uh, quick colour and in this case I'm going to work with this kind of pink fuchsia and that will bring me to that part of the shade uh, card and what I always say is I think it's always worth just scrolling down a little bit and scrolling up as well because sometimes you can have color um, uh, that you're actually looking for either side. Um, in actual fact let me just come down again and I'm going to uh, I'm going to stick with this color here this dark orchid so it's giving me the kind of technical information here uh, what it's made out of and the weight and what I'm now going to do is I am going to click the little um, arrow here and straight away if I scroll down here it is on my thread database. Um, now a top tip might be when you're actually working with this I'm actually just going to go and choose a, another the metallic FS range now, it might be you actually want to add a section of a shade card. So what I can do is I can highlight uh, that first color. I'm going to hold down my shift key. I'm going to add all these uh, sort of golds all in one go. will actually speed up that process for me. I'm going to click on add to my threads. Oh, looks like I've got one of those colors in there already. Um, but I'm actually going to say, yes, I'm happy to overwrite that. And for instance, now when I scroll down, here are those Madeira metallics in there. Now, you might remember that I said earlier on in this series that there are some default colors in here. So, for instance, I know that I haven't got these variegated threads in my um, in my stash, in my workroom. So it might be that actually at some point we need to remove threads off our database. So I'm Again, I'm going to highlight it and at this point I'm on the uh, delete thread. So I'm going to just delete it out. It's just warning me, are you sure you really want to do it? I'm going to click yes. And there it is, that variegated thread has gone. I'm just going to take a moment to talk about the two buttons down here and why you might find these useful. So let's say you want to change some of the uh, very specific details about it. I'm going to click on this and I'll show you what I mean. That's going to bring up some very sort of specific technical information here. And if for some reason I needed to change it, I could do that. I would 
probably be very surprised if you do much of that, but that option is there. I'm going to cancel that. But more importantly, as you use Threadcache more and more, you might actually find that you have a number of databases, that you maybe have a specific database for a project that you're working on, in which case you might actually want to use this button where you might actually want to copy that thread over to another one of your databases. Join me next time where I'm going to be talking about how you can actually look at your thread stock using the MySonet embroidery software. Happy sewing.